Ooh, you came back. Well, I don't even know if this might be your first one, but I just did 12 and now I'm doing 13, so here we go. Uh, we're trying to find angle one. <coughs> so in these situations, we really just need to start finding what we can. So what we can find is, um, I can find this angle. I could have just as easily found that angle, but I can find this angle using triangles equal 180. Um, so that will give me 70. So these three things add up to that. Um, and then I can go straight there. So I then have 70 plus 90 equals 1, um, and I would get my 20. Now, I have the other option is I could have found this angle and this angle. It just ends up being a tiny bit more work. And then using our tri uh, triangle is equal maybe right there. All right, so here's another fun one. Just start finding the angles that you know. So this uh, little guy here is 50. And this little guy here is something. Oh, I guess I'm done. I can't do my math in my head anymore. Oh, yeah, 55. So this is 55. And so to find angle 2, I can just um, subtract from 180 um, of these two guys here. And I get 75. All righty then. So let's now look at these guys here. So look at these in the same video. I have an isosceles right triangle that has a leg of four. Well, if it has a leg of four, that means both legs are four because it is isosceles and that is definition. And if I want to find the hypotenuse here, I just need to use the Pythagorean theorem. So 4 squared plus 4 squared is equal to c squared. That is 16 plus 16 is 32. And when I square root that, I get 16 times 2, and that is 4 root 2. And that, my dear friends, is a special right triangle that we are going to learn about next chapter. So a little bit of a spoiler alert. All right, number 18. What theorem or postulate proves that they are similar? Whew, I don't have much here, folks. I have a three, I have a two, I don't have anything about these guys down here, but what I do have is an angle there, which is reflexive, and I do have uh, parallel lines here, which gives me corresponding angles, so AA is really our only option there. <coughs> all right, let's look at 19. Equilateral triangle, all 60 degrees. We are in, uh, the heights are all, I mean the lengths are all 14, so 14, 14, seven, and seven and we are looking for the height. So I just need to use Pythagorean theorem. So I have seven squared plus x squared is equal to 14 squared. And so when I do my fun little multiplication of who knows what here, I get 14 times 14 is what is six. And then we use six minus 49 is 147. And um, hopefully you can kind of simplify that a little bit here. So um, 147 divided by 49, that would be a, a hard one to recognize, 49 times 3. And the square root of 49 is root of 7, and the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. 7 roots of 3 is there. This, my dear friends, is another special right triangle, spoiler alert, that we will be learning about next chapter.